Top UN officials are warning of an apocalyptic situation in Gaza with no place safe to go for civilians. Israel's war with Hamas is now spreading to the south, where many have previously sought refuge. This comes as Israel's military says its troops are in the heart of a main city in the southern part of Gaza and have completed the encirclement of a refugee camp in the northern part of Gaza. The, US, uh, the UN's rather humanitarian agency says tens of thousands of internally displaced Palestinians have arrived in Gaza's southernmost province over the past two days. Another UN agency says almost 1.9 million people, which is more than 80 percent of Gaza's population, have now been displaced. Well, here in the United States, the presidents of three major universities are on Capitol Hill testifying before Congress on the rise of anti-Semitism on college campuses. Laura Geary has more on what the presidents of Harvard, MIT, and the University of Pennsylvania are doing to prevent it. Thank you for the moment. Fighting anti-Semitism on campus took center stage Tuesday as the heads of three major universities testified before a House Education Subcommittee. A common theme was clear right out of the gate. I have sought to confront hate while preserving free expression. We need both safety and free expression for universities and ultimately democracy to thrive. In addition to my duties to keep the campus safe, I must at the same time ensure that we protect speech and viewpoint diversity for everyone. The challenge, keeping free speech from fostering hateful actions. Free speech does not permit harassment, discrimination, bias, threats, or violence in any form. Harvard, UPenn, and MIT are not alone in experiencing a rise in on-campus anti-Semitism in recent weeks. At other schools like Cornell, George Washington University, and Tulane, recent anti-Semitic incidents have also made national headlines. Can identify the university presidents testifying Tuesday insist they're committed to safety and inclusion for all students. When speech crosses over into conduct, that violates our policies, we do take action. We will never, ever shrink from our moral responsibility to combat anti-Semitism. It's not going to be fixed overnight, but we are in the process of working on it and hopefully tamping down anti-Semitism in America once again. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting. Republican and Democratic lawmakers are at odds over the Ukraine-Israel aid package. While Democrats are taking steps to bring the matter to the floor this week, many in the GOP say that they're not going to budge unless some of the funds are used to address the U.S.'s immigration concerns. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is pushing for a vote on the Ukraine-Israel aid package this week. The security supplemental must include funding and policy reforms to address the crisis at the southern border. Democrats want to be reasonable on immigration. We're willing to make concessions, but not what we will not keep going in circles if Republicans aren't interested in even meeting us halfway. The Senate is scheduled to close for the year in two weeks, and despite the stalemate, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell is insisting that Republicans stay at the uh, negotiating table.